हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द वीडियो ऑफ अ रपचक रपचर एक्टोपिक प्रेगनेंसी दिस पेशेंट केम इन अ शॉक हाइपोलिमिक शॉक विद बी पी एटी बाई फिफ्टी सी वॉज रिसोसिटेटेड विद टू यूनिट ब्लड एंड शी वॉज ऑपरेटेड काइंडली डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर वीडियोज लाइक दिस नाउ वी हैव एंटर्ड इन द एबडम एंड यू कैन सी अ वेरी लार्ज साइज क्लॉट इट इज ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट टू लीटर ऑफ ब्लड as you can see we have used the heparin uh, to dissolve the clot we have diluted 1 lakh units in 100 ml and uh, after that uh, we have uh, irrigated this heparin in the abdomen to dissolve the clot now you can see the ectopic part usually the ectopics do not bleed this much but this um rupture was occurred at anti mesenteric border so uh, mainly this kind of ectopics uh, bleeds so much too much even even patient can die with this condition if uh, it is not properly managed here yeah. we are removing the ectopic part by using ligasure now just a small part is left as you can see this is almost the surgery is done but the big uh thing we have to deal is to remove this clot and all the blood inside this is only the pelvis part but later on we'll see the blood is filled everywhere here i have list little fast forwarded this just because this is continuous suctioning 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 the heparin did the job but as you can see this is a very large clot it is very difficult to um, dissolve it with only 100 ml of diluted heparin so afterward we have used a 10 mm uh, suction and uh, it was done quite good with the 10 mm suction this is now the suction part is going on now this is the heparin and the clot is dissolved after the surgery finishes i'll show you how much is the blood loss and uh, i'll show you the anti mesenteric border rupture took around 30 minutes for me to just remove the clot now you can see it is you gradually decreasing in size and also this is the blood in the paracolic cutters
it seems like it is almost over only some part is left this is the last some clots remaining we are irrigating some fluid just to clean up now you can see the vision is good compared to the previous part the reason is that the blood absorbs whole of the light and uh, we are unable to see properly now we are just cleaning we have only used this 100 ml of diluted heparin and uh, 300 to 400 ml of normal saline for the clean up and this is the ectopic we are taking out as it was a little large size so it was difficult to take it out whole of it so we have just remove the inside part of the ectopic the deciduous and the blood clots we have removed and this is the uh, 5 mm 4 mm trocar and we have introduced a claw forceps from the uh, our primary camera port which is 10 mm they are just removing this clots and blood inside the ectopic yes now you can see it is out now we are taking it out and it is out now we are taking out some big clots which we are unable to take it out for through the suction those part we are taking out and now this is the 10 mm suction it does the job very fast very quick but you need to remain more cautious rather than using this 5 mm reason being it can suck out the um, momentum and it will be little difficult for you to handle so be little cautious while using 10 mm suction it can take out clots also as you can see and it can clean the area very fast this is it now it is almost over and we are just cleaning the paracolic gutters we are watching for the liver and all those areas the surgery was almost about 1 minute job but the suction part took very long and it is uh, really difficult to do uh, surgeries 
this kind of cases where the patient was in shock and resuscitated but still we have managed to do it laparoscopically as you can see this is some more blood collected in the right paracolic gutter The best area to do suction is the POD because the momentum and these things will not come that easily inside a suction. And now we are doing little more cleaning. The small clots we are taking with the grasper we have not used any manipulator in this patient It is almost clean now. Now I will remove the trocar and division. This is the first, this is the second. We have only used three trocars. And this is it. Now you can see this is the anti mesenteric border from where the rupture occurred. And this is the hole of the ectopic tissue. Now you can see the blood loss. It is around 2500 ml from which 500 removed. So 2000 uh, ml of blood loss. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.